in modern Resident Evil video games, the concept of being scared or alarmed is somewhat comical now. Since the original Resident Evil 4, the franchise of games have notably shifted from horror to being a suspense slash first person shooting game. But the original intentions of the Resident Evil series were to be horror based. Examples of shock or fear when playing used to be an important factor of the franchise before it was later abandoned due in part to gamers having a higher tolerance or expectance of fear. When the original two Resident Evil games were developed and released by Capcom in 1996 and 1998, there were legitimately alarming scenes in both games of zombified dogs bursting through windows to chase the player. These were legitimate jump scares because gamers hadn't ever experienced such things before in a video game. And though it might seem comical or average now, these were legitimate jump scares at the time because gamers hadn't ever experienced such things before in a video game and some would either just be walking up to the character, exploring the area, and the dog attack would alarm them so they would just panic and run away through the character to anywhere safe. Or, there were even some situations where the player was so shocked by the sudden scare that the character that they were playing with were mauled to death that particular time by the zombified dog. The realization in-game to the player that there might be the possibility that there was nowhere safe in the game, in the area that they were possibly exploring and for them to always be alert to what might happen. Even though in the original games the player didn't have to fear every possible wandering or situation through the said map that they could be attacked, those particular dog attacks gave them the impression that there might be a possibility of that. They could be attacked at any moment, theoretically, but such a scary moment only worked once. The first time that the player experienced it, they might experience it again through replaying of the games or other situations, but it would not have the same impact. That's why there were only dog attacking moments such as this in the first two games, because gamers would experience it for the first time as mentioned, and in later games, playing the experience, they'd be used to it and prepared for the scare. It would no longer work. For something as simple as a zombified dog jumping through a window to attack or chase down a player, that was a monumental moment in gaming.